I'm curious, when did you, as a child free by choice woman, start to realize that you didn't want children? Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. So today's video is for child free women. Ladies, come, let's talk. If you're child free, you have children, come, let's talk. We just want to have this conversation. So this video is a video of a creator who came online to ask the question now. When was that? time you realize that you don't want kids you want to go child free when did you realize it and this has led a lot of women sharing their story and all that but i also want to hear from both even if you're a mother if you're a child free woman i really love to know your thought when was that time it clicked on you to say you know what i want to be a mother or i would love to be a mother or if you're a child free woman when was the time how old were you or when did you realize that you don't want to have kids you want to go child free and if you have kids and you wish to be child free when was that point you have kids i know you love your kids okay but when was that point you had kids and then you realized that mm, i wish i know better my life would have been a lot easier if i had gone the child free route i would love to know your thought down in the comment section okay so let's go check out this video the sister asking the question and people's reaction to it people's thought and sharing their story when was the time they realized they didn't want kids Anyway, guys, let's go check it out. Then we'll come back and talk more. And I will also share you guys when was the time I realized that I didn't want kids. So let's go check it out. I'm curious, when did you, as a child free by choice woman, start to realize that you didn't want children? Did you, as a child free by choice woman, start to realize that my whole life I always knew and everybody was always, you're going to change your mind. And while there were times where I thought, maybe, in my heart of hearts, it was always a no. Mm -hmm. Free by choice woman, start to realize that you didn't want children. I'm not what she asked for because I want kids, but I want to layer something onto this question that I'm really okay. curious about. I grew up knowing that I wanted kids. I always wanted kids. I always knew I wanted to be a mom. But then there was a shift probably around 26 or so. I had been in a serious relationship for years already. I'm still in that relationship. And it kind of dawned on me that I didn't have to. I was like, okay, wait, do I actually want that? Or am I just used to wanting that? Like, is it just kind of muscle memory to want kids? Or is this something that I actually want? And I had to do some like soul searching and I landed that it is truly what I want. I, it, like, I love having, I love my family. I want to be able to build a beautiful family. I have a really good relationship with my mom. I want to be able to pass that on. Okay. But there was, a, a time of like reflection and discovery. And so I think that what I wanna know is people who don't want kids, did you have that same time of reflection and discovery where you're like, I've always thought that I wanted them, but now I don't. Or were you like, I always thought that I had to have them, but I'm realizing I don't. Or did you just always know you didn't want them? I'm curious. The free by choice woman, start to realize that you didn't want children. I'd say like really honestly in high school um, when I learned everything that can go wrong in pregnancy, in childbirth, and afterwards. Um, how children wreck your body. They do. Postpartum depression is such a real thing and it's very underdiagnosed. Um, just all of that. I'm selfish and I don't want to experience those things. Um, then as I got older, um, for reference, I am at 29, uh, just learning how expensive it is for a child. Mm -hmm. I can't afford it. I can't. Do you as a child free by choice woman start to realize that I've always known when little girls were playing families with their dollies, their Barbies. I was playing, this Barbie's a business owner. This Barbie is selling this today, and today we're running a promotion. There was never uh, an interest or a thought of like, I wanna raise a baby. I wanna be responsible for a baby. Never looked at a baby and think, wow, I want one of those. Just. And you know, when you go shopping for clothes, unless you absolutely love it in store, you shouldn't be buying it. 
I think the same for children, unless I am yearning, dying, incomplete without one, why would I have one? And I've just never had a choice woman start to realize that you didn't want children. When I was of legal babysitting age and none of my siblings would negotiate, I knew if I couldn't survive it, then I wouldn't survive it at an adult age. <laughs> I mean, I'm non-binary, but this is super duper easy. I was five. I was five years old. My brother was born. That was it. No. Okay. My choice woman start to realize that you didn't want children. When I started living alone and enjoying it, most of us went from our parents' house to our husband's house. We had no way and no space for us to start thinking about what we really wanted historically. Mm -hmm. So when I left for college, I lived with roommates. And when I started living alone, I started to really, really love my alone time, think about what my own dreams and aspirations were. And I started realizing that if I wanted to do all the things that I wanted to do, then kids were going to really impede that. I wholeheartedly believe that a lot of women are meant to be mothers, but I also wholeheartedly believe that a lot of women uh, jumped into motherhood without thinking whether that's what they really wanted. Yeah. And because of the pressure by society and our families to become mothers as the ultimate way to become fulfilled. And the reality is that that is not for everybody. And the conversation mm -hmm. of women who regret having kids is not a conversation that America and the world is ready to have. Power free by choice woman, start to realize that you didn't want to. When I cried when the neighbors asked me to babysit their kids, <laughs> I was 15. Really? When did you, as a child free by choice woman, start to realize that? I think I was about 10, 10 years old when I made the observation that people who had kids were poor and tired and didn't get to travel, and people who didn't have kids had money and got to travel. <laughs> and this is obviously a broad generalization, and it's not a dig on parents. If you want to be a mommy or a daddy, do it. But my parents were exhausted raising the three of us, loved us, good parents, and I had this child-free aunt that was like, well, we're going to Europe again. And my mind was made up. I'm like, I'm going to travel. <laughs> and when I was about 11 or 12, I told both my parents, I'm like, I'm never having children. And they were both like, yeah, we know, honey. <laughs> we know that you're not the one that's going to give us grandkids. And they never pushed it on me, not once. Now I'm 37, partner got the snip, traveled to 30 countries. Wow. I'm curious, when did you, as a child-free by choice woman, start to realize so I don't actually ever remember a time in my life where I wanted children. I don't, not even as a little girl. Um, I always assumed that I would grow up, have a husband, have kids, have the white picket fence yeah, life because that was all I ever knew and that was all I saw in my life. Um, and instead, I grew up, uh, got a wife, got two dogs, and built my own fence out of pallets. Wow. Choice woman start to realize that you didn't want children? Honestly, uh, I wanted a child or a baby um, all through my early to mid twenties. Um, and it wasn't until after I started, like realized and sought out therapy and um, also really opened up to my authentic self and Okay. And in a secure and mature and um, just a, a relationship with a person that is a good fit. And I'm no longer like I realized just how profoundly lonely I was during the period of time where I wanted a child. Um, and now after having gone through a lot of self-discovery and realizing what it is that I need to be a fulfilled person whose needs are all met. Um, I realize I don't want kids anymore. Um, I've built a life for myself that is like, gives me a lot of peace of mind. And, um, I, 
I, I am to the point now where I realize that if I, if I did have kids, I would love them, but I wouldn't love my life. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and so then I think to myself, oh my God, like how many people get sucked into the thought that like having the kid is going to um, Fix the life. mitigate the level of loneliness or the misunderstoodness or the um, level of unhappiness and it actually not be the thing that, that it's not the right medicine for what ails you, you know? Think about that all the time, actually. When did you, as a child free by choice woman, start to realize that? So in my mid to late twenties is when I really started to contemplate whether or not I wanted to become a mother or if I wanted to be child free by choice. Um, I'm 34 now and I am child free and for sure will be child free. I actually, when I was younger, really wanted kids. I come from a big family and really wanted to also have a big family, but, uh, that was before understanding one, how expensive children are as well as like the responsibility that comes along with that. When I was in my early twenties, I got into a relationship that turned pretty serious and um, felt very pressured by his family and himself to start popping out kids at a very young age. Mm. And the idea of becoming a mother at 23, 24 was not only frightening, but it also like was my wake up call of, is this something that I really want? Or am I just going through the motions of my life and just that stereotypical, oh, this is the next step. Oh, you're a woman. You're just supposed to have children. So when I got out of that relationship, I made the choice to say, I don't want kids. I'm not interested in having kids because it was easier to tell people that than to say, hey, maybe because I one really wasn't sure. And two, I was really just turned off by the pressure of it from the previous relationship. But honestly, it was one of the best choices that I made because it didn't give people false hope. And as well as I didn't have people on me about kids either. So over the years, and honestly, through a lot of women on TikTok sharing their experiences of just motherhood, being pregnant, meeting other child-free mm -hmm. by choice women, and also having friends who have had kids, um, I've had a lot of different perspectives, as well as I've done a lot of uh, introspective work on myself of just, is this something I really want? And the question that resonated with me the most is, which would I regret more? having a child or not having a child. And the reality for me is that I would regret more having a child than I would not. My sister is going to have kids one day. She very much wants to be a mom and I am overjoyed to be an aunt one day. And I do not share that same sentiment with motherhood. So between recognizing that I would regret more having a kid and also being more excited about being an auntie than a mom has confirmed for me that being child free really is the best choice for me. When did you as a child free by choice woman start to realize that? So that creator wants to know when as a woman who's child free by choice, did you decide that you did not want to have children? Um, I decided that I didn't want to have children over the course of my life. Um, it wasn't something that I originally knew I didn't want to have children. Um, it kind of evolved over the years. And so when I was younger, I wanted children. I thought that that was, you know, what people did. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of expected. I didn't really see a different option for myself. Um, and then as I got older, when I was in my like late 20s, it was more... You know, if I'm, if and when I meet someone that I want to spend the rest of my life with, if we both decide we want to have children, then that's something that we would do. Um, you know, if he didn't want children, I would be okay with that. If he didn't want children, I'd be okay with that too. And then the older I got, when I got into my like early thirties, it was more, you know, if he really wants children, that's something that I would do. But in terms of the way I looked at what I wanted out of a marriage, I wanted to have a few years at the beginning to just be married and not jump right into having children. And so in my early 30s, you know, a few years down the, the road, I'd be 
you know, old to have children and be a geriatric mm -hmm. pregnancy. Um, and then it just slowly evolved into me deciding I liked the kind of life I was able to live without children. And while I still want a partner to be able to share life with, um, what I want to have that life be doesn't include having children. doesn't mean I hate children. It just means that I don't see myself as a mother and I would rather regret later down the road not having children than regret having children after I had them. You know, it's, it's something that I'm willing to accept that risk for and that potential regret down the road. But at this point in my life, I don't see, you know, myself having children at all. Um, and I want a partner who doesn't want children or doesn't have them. Um, and I have, you know, a niece and nephew who I love very much and would do anything for. Um, but that doesn't mean that that's the life that I want. And so I think some people would call me selfish for not wanting to have children, but I would think that it would be wrong to have children just to satisfy a societal norm or expectations mm -hmm. if I didn't really want them. Um, I think children should be brought into the world and into families who want them, parents who want them. And I think that that's something that is very important for the child. And if I can't provide that for a child, then I think it's the right decision for me to not have children. Um, so those are my reasons and kind of when I decided that I was child free. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, please let me know and also go back and follow that creator if you're child free too. When did you, as a child free by choice woman, start to realize that? I was homeschooled and my mom was chronically ill. Um, and so I co-raised my two younger sisters and I looked at them as infants and toddlers. And I thought to myself, I don't want to do this. And on top of that, one of the things that I learned triggered my mom's illness was childbirth. And so I was deathly afraid of having that happen and I also had no maternal instincts whatsoever you know people talk about their ovaries like exploding when they see a baby none for me um and it just never changed I just never wanted kids and never felt uh, any emotional connection towards babies and then uh, lo and behold I was diagnosed with the same illness as my mother anyway well so there's that. Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section. If you're a child-free woman or a child-free man, when was it that you realized that you don't want to have a child, you want to go child-free? Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. I love to know your own thoughts and when was that point. Feel free to share your thoughts. And if you're a mother, when was the time you realized that, oh, you want to be a mother and you went on to have kids? Or if you're a mother now or a father now, when was the point you already have kids, you now realize that mm, my life would have been a lot easier if I don't have kids? Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think and your own thoughts and your own story down in the comment section, okay? So I'm going to share my mind. is very like a roller coaster one of emotion. I feel like probably I've had it all in me all the time. Like, because I've always questioned childbirth. As a child, maybe like eight, nine, ten, I've always questioned it. And eventually I found out how babies come out and I found out baby come out from the hoo-ha and I was like, oh, that can never be from my hoo-ha. I remember, <laughs> and that's crazy. I remember me as a little girl looking at the hoo-ha and imagining a baby coming out from it and it scares me out of my mind. But eventually growing up, being the first daughter, I was naturally taking care of the house, taking care of everybody. And I feel like that's also another point that just clicked on my head. And how I always had that thought, like, do I want to do this? And I saw how my mom was. My mom was a great mom. She was the best mom she could be. But I saw how she was and even how my dad was. And I looked at myself and I'm like, I don't want to bring children into this world that will be treated like this, the way I'm being treated and all that. And I think at a younger age, I could identify some of my traumas at that time. And I'm like, no, I don't want um, children. 
but but this is where the but is i personally i am a very nurturing caring lovely people will call my friends will say i'm a very motherly person so there's a part of me that feels like oh um like i i think i'll be a good mother okay there's a part of me i know i'll be a good mother but the other factors that i'm just like mm, my life is good without having a child and also i also feel like it was also another thing why I'm also with my husband. I remember when we were still dating, like, I always say this thing here on this channel. Myself and my husband, we dated for a very long time. We dated for 10 years, married for 10 years plus now. So I remember um, while we were dating and the relationship was serious and all that. And I remember there was a conversation we had about kids. If we have kids or if we don't have kids, how that, is going, how that dynamic is going to affect the marriage or the relationship and he was like he doesn't like if we have kids fine if we don't have kids fine and also i was in that boat to like kids it's not a deal breaker for me like if i don't have kids what hell is going to break loose and in my own society and in my culture it is a big deal to have kids like it is a big deal you dare not even voice it out as a woman and say you don't want to have kids so for the longest time internally i was I, I could not even say it. Yes, we were not actively trying not to have kids, but also it was not like, oh, I, we were going out to have kids. Except, except the very few couple of years into our marriage, like we did some medical checkup to make sure that everything was okay with both of us. And we just went on living our lives and no biggie about it. And that led to a whole lot of miscarriages, a whole lot of stillbirth. And a whole lot of pain and anguish. I've, I did a, a chart where I shared some part of the story. And I saw how pregnancy really, really changed me. And the truth is that I actually enjoy, as much as pregnancy it is, <laughs> it is terrible, as much as that is, each pregnancy I was looking forward to having that child. So I feel like, for me personally, where it was just a roller coaster of do I have, do I, and I feel like I'm still in that place, but I feel like I'm more in the area where I don't want kids because I know the reality and I know the risks and I know the life threatening thing that comes with it. So, that like 95% of my brain don't want kids, like literally, 95% of my brain, I'm child friend. This is why I always tell women, know why you want to have kids, why you choose to go. There. So, me, if I decide today and say, okay, no, I want to have kids. It's not for the reasons most people would think. And I am very aware exactly what I'm getting myself to. And I'm mentally, physically, emotionally pre-prepared because you can never be prepared for having, having a child. And if I choose to have kids, it's going to be just one. Okay? Just one. But I feel like I'm, I'm more than, like I said, 95% of me is child-free. And another thing is that I have a lot of nieces and nephews, my brother, my sisters, they have kids, which I love, and they love me so much. My nieces and nephew, oh my goodness, they're on my heart. And I just look at myself like, I could be their auntie. Like, I could be their aunt. Like, I think I'm so comfortable being their auntie. My nieces, my nephew, they feel like I'm that auntie they can always call to, talk to. I'm um, just like, I could be that. So, yeah, so mine is still a roller coaster of emotion. And I'm going to say one of the reasons why I, the only reason right now why I'm like 5% want to have kids is because I feel like a lot of humanity, especially women, if I want to have kids, I want to have a girl, okay? Because I feel like a lot of women has been programmed a certain way and it had to take a lot of unlearning and on learning to reprogram us in a right in a different direction and i feel like i'm a rare being especially in my culture in my society i feel like i am rare and i feel like i can raise a very different human in my society and in my culture that will change the dynamic of women and how we may see life and view life that is that's the only reason but the things that is the other part of my brain is like what if that child chose another route? <laughs> After teaching them everything. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my own little story. Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your tool. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. You're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. So, feel free to share your thoughts, share your story. i love to know your thought. Please don't forget to share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation. Because that's what we do here. We have... 
banging conversation so go ahead and share your story and share this video with someone don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl with that i said subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel and i'll see you guys in my next video do see